tell you a story, a true story. All my stories are true. I had Home Sweet Home, and after many years of running Home Sweet Home, parents started coming to me. So I had an overlap for a certain period of time until I realized that instead of helping four or five kids a year, I could help 40, 50 kids plus by teaching the parents how to make their home sweet. So this is in the period of the overlap. I got a call from a guy. He told me, I got to move into your house. I can't live at home anymore. My parents are being right with me. They're chasing me. They're, they're miserable people. They're older. They don't get me. I, a whole long thing. I said, okay, come and, and meet me in the house. Meanwhile, the parents reached out to me. And they said, listen, we, we heard that you could help us. We want advice about how to deal with our crazy son who's off the rails and he, all kinds of terrible stuff. I said, okay, come, we'll make an appointment. Meanwhile, the parents got him a ticket to Europe. So they sent him to Europe for 10 days. So he called me up and he tells me, listen, I, I was going to come, but I'm going to Europe on vacation. I'll meet you when I get back. Meanwhile, in that time period, the parents came to me for training. Now, this boy thought he's going to Europe to clubs. He ended up on a like Pesach Kron Kfarim tour. I don't know how that misunderstanding happened, but it happens to be he's a history buff. He went, he told me afterwards, he said, I did both. I did the kvarim and the clubbing. Fine. He was away. The parents came to me for the same, this training over here. They got a different attitude, put on different, different glasses. And then afterwards, the boy came back home and he called me up and goes, I want to come meet you, but I, I don't really think I need to move into the home, but I'll meet you anyway, because we have an appointment. Comes into me, I kick up the recliner, put my feet on the recliner, I'm like, so what's doing? He says, well, I don't really think I need to move in here. I said, why? He tells me, I'll tell you, but you're not going to believe me. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, it's just, you're not going to think I'm lying. I'm like, no, just, just tell me what it is. He says, well, I'll be honest with you. Life at home was miserable. My parents sent me to clubbing in Europe, which ended up being farm. So I did both. And then I came home. And you're not going to believe this. It's not going to make any sense. I'm like, what? Well, they look like my parents. And they sound like my parents. But they're not my parents. Apparently, while I was in Europe, my parents were abducted by aliens because I came home to these two parents. They bought me a television. They wrote me an apology letter. They got me my skinny jeans that they threw out and burned. And they said they love me more than anything. And can I please stay home? I know you're not going to believe me. And I'm like, really? That's crazy. And that's when I realized it's time to close home, sweet home. Because it happened to a few of the kids that would have been in, and the parents came to me. I said, I got something here that's very valuable for so many more parents to have, to teach the parents how to make their home sweet. And that's what the kids want, acceptance. And when you accept them, it's much better than when some stranger accepts them. Because when you're accepted by your mommy and your daddy, there's nothing more healing, powerful, to heal them, the Gashmias, the Nafshias, and Baruchnias.